How's it going, guys? I'm Aaron from PhoneDog.com from LG's booth at Mobile World Congress in 2013, and I got my hands on this little bad boy, the Optimus F7. Now, we've taken a look at the F5. This is the F7, specs-wise, a little bit of a higher-end device in comparison to the F5. You can see 4G LTE capabilities in select markets, but what I like about this, you got a 4.7-inch True HD IPS display, and really beautiful, really fast all around. It's got a quick translator, quick memo, as you can see over here, live zooming and Q slide. But what I like about this is a nice big battery, or at least a big battery, 2,540 milliamp hour battery. It's running Android, looks like 4.1. Let me double check it just to make sure here. And you can see the notifications area uh, coming here. Very hard, surprisingly hard to do these with one hand. Let's take a look and see where are my settings. Let's see, ah, there we go. And let's go ahead and go out of that and take a look at settings. So you can see down through here about phone. Let's take a quick look at the software version and you can see it's running Android 4.1. So 4.1 atop LG's user interface, much like what we've seen in the States here with the apps, downloads, and widgets, shortcuts, but you can see how fast this thing is moving all around. So a really impressive device. LG is definitely making strides. What I'd like to see more of is more of this device or a device like this in the US. We need to get the Optimus G Pro over there, the F7, all those different devices. You can see design-wise, you've got a back button down here, and then you've got your menu button over here on the right side, a physical button down here at the bottom, which when pressed, you can activate Google Plus, or uh, Google Now rather, and then clear all task manager, and of course, you can close stuff out as you see fit right there. So on this side, you've got what looks to be a quick memo shortcut button, exactly. You've got your power button over on the right side, your volume rocker over on the left side, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack up top. Really a nice, clean looking device. I think 4.7 inches is a nice spot for a lot of people because it's still small enough where you can travel across the display, but large enough where it'll display content and display it well. I probably should get out of my quick memo here so you can actually see what I'm doing. Text messaging, just wanted to quickly show you what the keyboard looks like on this device, and it is not in a language I understand. It looks like Korean. Uh, that is not, not English, but this is okay. And you got quick uh, cue slide applications here, and then of course notification bar area with some shortcuts, which I assume you can customize over here as well. So really a nice device, a nice device for uh, for what you're getting. I hope to see this come to the States. As I always say every year at Mobile World Congress, we see some great devices, as you can see through here, but very few actually come to the States on a U.S. carrier with the way our carrier subsidy model works. I'm hoping to see this one come to one of the carriers. Keep it locked on PhoneDog.com for continuing coverage. Hit me up on Twitter as well, PhoneDog underscore Aaron, Facebook, Facebook.com slash Hi, Aaron Baker. More to come from Mobile World Congress 2013 in Barcelona. But as always, I'll see you next time.